Hi, my name is Anne from Bloomness.com and today we're going to show you how to make a centerpiece with hydrangeas and dahlias. So to today we're doing the hydrangeas centerpiece out of a, a lo mein dish, but it's not limited to just this particular type of vase or a plate. You can use them in any type form of box, wooden box, or any type of vase that you wish, but the technique it's similar. So to start off, we're going to use the Oasis Floral Foam. Floral Foam comes in a block like this, but for this particular size, I chose to cut it into half with um, a floral knife, or you can use any kitchen knife just to cut it down the middle. And the way to hydrate the uh, Oasis Foam is just to leave it directly in water. It could be a large bucket of water or your sink, you can fill it up with water and just leave them. The key is not to press a push or pressure it down so that there's no um, air bubble in the center so that make sure the foam is, has enough water to hydrate your flowers. And while we let that soak, I have something that's already done. Okay, so you would just put the block of foam on the plate and press it down to secure it. And you can use your kitchen knife or the floor knife just to clean out the edge to give it a clean look. Trim it off the sides, the edges. And tape it down so it doesn't move. Make sure your hand's not wet. And we're using waterproof tape. So all the way around. And pull so it has that tightness to it and make sure it grip. We're going to start with the hydrangeas. We're going to cut them at a certain length and an angle. But you want to eye it so that when you insert it into the foam, it doesn't come all, all the way across the other side. They want to stay in the center. And so you want to cut it a little shorter. And also it's important to cut off these eyes extra piece so that when you insert it, it doesn't create a bigger hole so that the smaller end, the smaller part can stay secure into the foam. Another important thing when you work with flowers in an oasis, oasis foam is a one insertion action. Um, no in and out because this is your water source for your flower. So when you want to insert it, make sure it's a one try and that's the way you want it. So now you have the basic of the four points with the top and you can fill it in with all the gaps with more hydrangeas. You have a round base of hydrangeas and now we're going to fill it, fill in the holes and the gaps with the flowers. Since this is a, a big gap right here, I'm going to use a, a larger dahlia. Again, just cut the stem at a certain angle. On the dahlia stems, there's the smaller buds you can actually use if you like to have that more of a not so clean, perfect look, which I like to insert the buds in there just to create a little height and length. And that's how simple a centerpiece with um, floral oasis can be, so now you can go make them. <laughs>